Let's talk. Let's talk. Hello and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk. My name is Chris Satney. We are continuing our discussion on school guidance counseling. And I just want to reintroduce my guest again, um, Krista Lee, who is from the St. Mary's College. And of course, we have uh, Candice St. Jou of the Leonhurst Comprehensive Spirited discussion we had in our first program. <laughs> yes, yes, and of course, we, we had to continue with a second program. Um, there's just so much to talk about. And uh, we, I remember in the previous program, you were talking about so many issues that, that you face. Issues um, dealing with children, with, with, with school children, that um, sometimes turn bad, sometimes have, uh, in, in most cases, have very good results. Mm -hmm. um, but let's, let's go into uh, another area, bullying. How much of that do you have to deal with, um, with Crystal? I, now, I think um, in St. Lucia, people don't like to hear the term bullying because uh, um, the definitions, people's definitions are different and what is bullying because the boys, for example, may say that's fun. And it's, so I always, when I am addressing a bullying and which is something, a topic for me, um, not necessarily for my school, wherever I go and present, where, wherever I can situate myself, I will always talk about the human element. So when people are unfair, unfair to each other, this is something that you get uh, around mm -hmm. the island. Mm -hmm. Around the island. If they can take advantage, they will. And so it's something that even though a school might tell you it's not a high prevalence, it's something that they have to address and keep addressing constantly, as constantly. A, as a parent with a child going to secondary school, I find um, children have to adjust to the environment of bullying rather than having bullied taken care of. <coughs> mm -hmm. So you find that they have to sometimes behave in a certain way, or in mm. some cases, monkey see, monkey do. What's, what's your experience? With regards to the effect on, of peer pressure on bullying? Yeah. Um, it's a defense mechanism for certain students um, because they, the bully is a, a strong presence and they see the effect of the bully on other mm -hmm. students. So in order for me not to be bullied, I have to align myself with the mm -hmm. bully and or I become the bully myself. Mm -hmm. And sometimes what also happens is it, it not necessarily it doesn't necessarily have to be a school thing. It might be my brother is bullying me, my father is bullying me, I my mother is bullying me, my sister is bullying me. I can't fight so it's back not at home. Base. I so can't fight back at home. But I will find somebody who I perceive to be weaker than I am, and I will bully, mm -hmm. I will assert my power there. So it is transferring that, mm -hmm. that, and that, that negativity to That's somebody right. else or mm -hmm. some other means. We have, for example, we ha when we have meetings, because of course, you know, we have a, um, a counselor in each district that goes into the primary school. So the secondary schools have one counselor per secondary school, but there's one counselor per primary school in a district, in an educational mm -hmm. district. And so you hear what's going on, where a, um, a principal, a teacher may be having a problem, even with the younger children. Why is that person so aggressive and so on? And when they see the parent coming to pick up and how they treat the student, then you understand what is going on. And even with- a Direct link. Right. So even with that, you have, these are the things you have to take into consideration when you're dealing with the, the students. You know, and that's why I say the definitions and how we, we see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not always quick to say you are bully and I will get down on you. But kids are getting help. But for 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 your, your your work and what you do in the school, oh, yeah. kids are getting help. Yes, right. yes. Mm -hmm. um, we mo a lot of schools I know have bullying programs or anti-bullying programs. Um, I know at Leon has comprehensive secondary school, the ministry had an initi initiative, I think it was the ministry partnered with some people had an initiative, I Am Beautiful, <coughs> which we've kept going mm -hmm. at the Leon has comprehensive secondary school for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and for the last two times that we did it, we focused on anti-bullying. Um, we had some of the students who were experiencing bullying, they would come to the, we'd have a, a big assembly and so on, and the students would come to the, the, the assembly and, and they would present themselves as 
beautifully unique. So they mm -hmm. would exhibit their talents and, 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 and you know, whatever their, their creativities and so on. And they write beautiful poems about their experiences with being bullied and wh how they have overcome it and so on. So besides the individual counseling, we do have programs that we have at the oh. schools which help with certain things that we know mm -hmm. are pervasive throughout the schools. Like if there are bully, if there is um, bullying and that sort of thing, we may have a program throughout the school to help with that particular issue. Yeah. For instance, what we've started doing at St. Mary's College, we have the Big Brother, the break, Big Brother yes, I heard about that one. <laughs> program. It's a, it's a, t <laughs> a tongue twister. Yes. <laughs> and the intention is, it wasn't directed to relieve bullying, but however, the idea of building these bonds mm -hmm. between an older student, it helps with camaraderie. Mm -hmm. It helps the younger one, that, which was the objective directly to trans Ha, go through that mm. transition period quicker to settle down so that he can get to what he's there for, mm. to do the work. So to overcome some of the, the, these obstacles of how to find your way around and how to settle yeah. in and what to expect and how to deal with what, uh, what's going to happen between that's the actually older maturity and they're making. That's, that's so. basically what, what you're saying, that, right. that that kind of big brother, um, I look over you and give you a guidance, helps you to become a bigger brother when somebody else mm -hmm. needs to be mentored. Right. So it's like a mentorship. <laughs> and brother. it's very interesting because from, for me, the pleasure of this thing is, is to hear what the other students have to see. They're not talking to you, they're talking to somebody else, mm -hmm. and they're talking about something, something that they've experienced or so on. The mm -hmm. big brothers talk about their experiences, or the little brothers. Not everybody's going to have the best experience in the world. Mm -hmm. But when, the, when you hear these mm -hmm. nuggets of gold, it makes a job. A so whole lot better. <laughs> yes. Well, we do for a break now. We continue with our spirited discussion on school guidance counseling after this break. Pamela. I noticed that you built your retaining wall on my property. You will have to give me my land back or compensate me for that. My contractor isn't dumb. I trust that he will not build anything on your property. Where is your proof? Let's go to court. This situation does not require you to go to court. Looks like we have to go through mediation here. Mediation is a way people resolve conflicts like this. Someone, a third party, comes to speak to both parties. This person is called the mediator. The mediator is impartial. He or she makes sure that communication between both parties is effective and efficient. So, the mediator is a judge? No, the mediator is not a judge. Mediators, unlike judges, do not decide cases or impose settlements. Let me get a mediator to handle this retaining wall and that kitchen. Kitchen? Yes, your kitchen also falls on my land. Let me call the mediator. And welcome back to Let's Talk as we continue our discussion on school guidance counseling with Crystal and Candice. Of course, um, we're very happy to know, um, I'm very happy to know, your disclosure that the, the children, they are coming to mm -hmm. guidance counselors, the school guidance counselors with their issues. Um, this, this must be a good thing to deal mm -hmm. with the issues, mm -hmm. you? Oh yeah, like I said in the last, um, our last session, I, I was... I have definitely seen, seen a change to, like I said, um, I have to go to the guidance counselor to every few minutes, knock, knock, knock on my door. Um, Miss, I want to speak to you. Miss, I have something to speak to you about. And, um, and they're able to open up to you. That says a lot about what you're doing at the school. It means that they trust you and, and you're making an impact positively. Mm -hmm. But speaking helps the child. Speaking always helps. I want to say it helps everybody, but we're dealing with children. Yes. It's important, it's important to have a space that they know is safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all of these things will be explained to the parents beforehand. At orientation, I will always say, Here, here's, here are the limitations, here's what we're going to tell your students, mm -hmm. and we're going to be telling them that the space we create for them is safe. Of course, the limitations which we explain to the children, mm -hmm. there's certain things that we have to act on. Mm -hmm. We must protect <coughs> our babies. Immediately. Yes. We Definitely. must protect our babies. I mean, at my school, they call me mommy a lot of the times mm -hmm. because I don't want people to interfere with I my children. <laughs> I don't want you people... Said, you, you said a very important word there, parents. Let's talk about parents and, and how they contribute to the situations and, of course, how they can help to eliminate it. Mm -hmm. Crystal? Um, it's, it's hearing. Mm -hmm. Because parents, I know most of the times parents are thinking what is happening with their students is a reflection of them. So they're angry. If, if, the pers if your, 
your child does something which you deem is wrong, which is against the school rules maybe or something, it's, it says that I'm not a good parent. No, it's not. That's not what it's about. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of the time I reassure your, the, uh, the parent. First thing you hear, once you hear, it means you care, you're doing a lot of, you, we more than 50% mm -hmm. of the, yes. the way. Yes. It, we more than 50%. Let's continue Show to interest. work. Show interest. Right. Let's continue to work. <coughs> and then let us see it. And I have to explain the students' perspectives as we were talking about in the last time. Perspectives of the students are not always the same mm -hmm. as a parent. Mm -hmm. So if I give you, if we uh, enlighten you and say, okay, look at it from this point of view. If, the more you are able to see from their point of view, the more you are able to intervene mm -hmm realistically in a way that will, you know that will actually help and the two of you can work together that's the why, difference good why is it so difficult for children to speak to their parents from your experience that's a really good question and i think i addressed that at one of our our parent teacher meetings um at one point parents forget i think this is my experience what it was like to be a child or to be a teenager we lose connection with that phase or stage of our lives where we made mistakes, where we were curious, um, and parents become so engrossed or obsessed with, I don't want him or her to make the same mistake I did, or, um, you know, I, I, or they take on their parents' roles where what I say is what I say, and you don't do what I, they don't listen to the, the children. Is it, that, is it that the parents, and I'm a parent as well, that we are actually reflecting what we saw from our uh, parents. Most times, <laughs> you internalize what that's what, you know, that's how we learn. I, I sometimes see it that way. Um, do you counsel teachers, Krista? It's not in our job description. Mm. <laughs> it's true. But it's I, I want to know. It's, it's yeah. not in our job description, but I, I have had uh, the opportunity that a teacher needs. I will not turn away a teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will not go and advertise. Teachers come. Mm. But, but, but despite but they, they may have their own their, issues yes, dealing they, and with they the specific have, children, mm -hmm. because there are some serious, serious issues in the classroom that these children, teachers don't know how to deal with. And having to try and deal with it themselves, they encounter some serious strain. And mm -hmm. those people. What I we think do need sometimes, attention. we have professional development activities for the teachers. So mm -hmm. during our PDDs and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. we may have um, a session on how to deal with um, boys or how to get the most out of your students and that sort of thing. And that way that we can reach the, student, the, the teachers, you know, um, more of them. They're nice of programs. Them There's the one that's, that's rolling out. It's, there was a, 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 a pilot project and it's rolling out about positive discipline, right. which mm -hmm. is really, really helpful for teachers and so on. Also, the teachers are, are people, they're human beings. Mm -hmm. So they have their personal mm -hmm. issues, which they come from home with. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't even realize it. it, it projects onto the students, you know? So, and that's why I love individual. I go to the teacher when, mm -hmm. it, when needs be. Uh, final word from you. Mm -hmm. You have the final word. Comments, final comments. I think that people don't really understand what we do. And um, I would like to let everyone know that your children are safe with the counselors. Um, we enjoy what we do and we are blessed to be in the positions that we are within the schools to be able to impact your, your children the way that, that we have. It is not an easy job at all, but we're doing our best and we will continue to do our best. Thank you so much. I just want to thank you for being part of our program. If you can reach across, Crystal, that'd be fine. Thank you so much. And I really did enjoy speaking about this topic. And I wish you all the best in your endeavors and, of thank course, you your careers. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's Let's Talk for uh, another edition of Let's Talk. Just want to thank you, as always, for being part of our program. We'll have a next one for you next week on behalf of the entire production team. Chris Anthony, thanking you for watching. Let's Talk. Let's talk.